HubSpot email marketing tutorials step by step. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily use HubSpot for our email campaign so they provides us the opportunity to work not only as CRM but we can also create like email uh, campaigns for our uh, businesses. So here we are on HubSpot.com. We can easily get started for free. You'll also discover their like paid plans a little bit later. Uh, but uh, we'll come to this page basically after a small registration. And as you can see in the top of the screen, we have like our menu. We have contact area, conversations, marketing, sales, advice, automation and reports. Uh, to work with email campaigns, we only need like a context folder and the marketing. So from the context, we can easily interact with our contacts, so with our recipients we have. So basically here we are. As you can see in the right top corner, we have the option to import. We can also like do some other stuff. We can create contact is like one by one. So all we need to do is just to fill all the information like email, first name, last name, and maybe some additional information. Or we can also like import from uh, other apps, uh, which are like integrations or some other stuff. Or we can uh, read all the context from files. And on the marketing folder, on the email campaigns, on the email folder, we can easily create our first email. So basically, it's pretty easy. Let's click on a create. And as you can see, we have like three options regular, create a beautiful personalized email, and send it to a segment of your context. Automated, create a personalized email that's automatically sent to contacts through a workflow. Sometimes it could be really, really helpful. And a blog. With blog email, you can publish your content once and send updates to your email subscribers. So this option is pretty cool if you have like your own blog. But in this video, let's try to create regular email. So this is our email type. And there are a lot of uh, different templates we can easily use, like welcome, simple, promotion, plain email, newsletter, and so on. Or we can also use like um, premium templates, but in order to use, we need to upgrade to a marketing hub starter. So basically, as you can see, uh, we need to upgrade our I plan to use these paid emails. So in our case, we can only use basic emails. So it looks like these. So as you can see, we can view how does it look like. And as you can see, it looks like uh, this one. So uh, in order to customize, we can still add a lot of stuff to create something more interesting. Now we are on our editor page. As you can see, we have like options to add images, tags, buttons, drive dividers like social networks, videos, products, more and so on. Also, there are a lot of options to work with layouts, like layout one, two, three, uh, like two layouts, two and four layouts right up here. So this um, editor works like a drag and drop or contact. So as you can see, we can work with every single section here. And I think it's pretty cool. So we can create this layout here. We can add the contact right up here. So here we can add like image, for example, we can easily browse it on our computer. And on the right side, we can add some text. So it's pretty cool uh, that we have the options to create the personalized emails from the from free templates and I think it's pretty cool and in this case uh, we can easily interact with every single part so we can add a different buttons we can add like a little bit more text here and um, we can easily like even add I think more layouts right up here here so there are a lot of options we can do we can create uh, like any content we need. So in order to interact with text, we just simply need to highlight it. And as you can see here in the top of the um, email, we have the option to change uh, the style, change the font, make it bigger, less, make it underlined and so on. So there are a lot of options. If you'll go to settings here, we can find some things we can interact with. So we can add the subject line, preview text, internal email name, language, subscription type, and so on. So it's pretty cool. And also the last tab, we can easily like uh, choose the recipient. So we can choose like uh, 
the contacts we have and also we can send now or schedule it for later so if you'll turn it to schedule option we need to change the date time and so on and also we have like automation options but we need to break our plan and then we can click on review and send and as you can see we need to fill some required fields like subject and company name and address to send but when we'll fill it we can easily click on send and our email campaign will be sent to all the recipients so if you click on exit now we can find it in marketing and email from this page here we can also find some information in analyze folder we can find send number open rate click rate uh, click through rate and like reply rate so as for me it's pretty pretty cool and uh, to interact we can also like go to health and from this page we can monitor your email health why does email health matter a better email health score equals a better chance that your emails will reach your contacts inbox so it's pretty like cool to um, build best email reputation it's important also to analyze and to manage so we can edit our emails from email campaigns from this folder we can edit clone or do some other actions we can view save email as a template move to folder archive all delete so let's try to delete and if you're going to discover their paid plans if you'll come to this page here and go to pricing uh, we can find a lot of uh, stuff about like different marketing uh, plans so it depends on our purposes uh, so we have like starter plan like professional plan and enterprise so it depends on your like aims so if you'll try to go to for example marketing and emails and we'll go to uh, somewhere to analyze or maybe to manage and we'll try to create go to automate it so as you can see we need like upgrade to starter crm suit for example so we need to find this starter and then just crm so it's like 18 dollars per month which is not that like high price as for the businesses so you can try it for free and after that you can decide is it necessary for you to upgrade but this is a way of how can we use hubspot for our email marketing if you have any questions you can write them in the comments below maybe about contacts maybe about campaigns i'll try to answer for all of your questions but yeah this is the way and that's all for this video hope this video made your life a little bit easier i wish you a very good day goodbye